It's 2023 and you want to try to be balling on a budget. So you go on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or anywhere that sells cars and you look for the rarest, most off the wall car you can find and you come across a Chrysler TC by Maserati. Actually, I think it's a Maserati TC by Chrysler. It's, I don't know why they had to put two things in there. Um, don't, don't, don't do this. So this is a 1990. Fred loves this car actually. Fred wants one of these so he can have a gold chain and a wife beater driving around town. Chest hair. You already have chest hair. You don't need it. Well, cigarettes for sure. So he, uh, well, this thing is a 90, right? And we did some research. In 90, they only made these for three years. In 1990, they only sold 1,900 of them. I am, yeah. We're doing that. So they actually, when Chrysler came up with this with Maserati, they said that they were probably going to sell five to 10,000 per year. The first year they did 3,600. This was 1,900, the 91s were 1,600. And I think the big reason being is in 1990, they sold 31 times more LeBarons than they did Maseratis. The most expensive LeBaron in 1990 that you could purchase was just under $21,000 back then. The cheapest Maserati you could purchase was $35,000. The funny thing is, you actually got more with the LeBaron than you did with this. You had less options, less color choices for interior. Um, we actually had a LeBaron in here. It was a 88 or 89. And when you open the door, it would talk to you. This doesn't. I don't know why it costs so much other than a stupid emblem. Let's look at some of this thing. <laughs> That's probably uh, $1,000 of that, and including the window on the other side. So that's $2,000 on top of what it would have been. Um, it still says Chrysler's TC by Maserati on here. So that's the correct order of how you're supposed to stay, say this car. It's got a hard top convertible with a hard top on it, which I don't know if the LeBarons came with a removable hardtop that had to be taken off and then you had a hardtop convertible that went up. I think it's just a huge waste of money or I, this thing probably needs three or four people to pick up to. It does have typical nice 80s interior. So I guess now you're wondering why do we have it? The reason why we have it is because the brakes on this thing went bad, and apparently that's a common thing with these. Now, if the brakes go bad on this, it's most likely the master cylinder. And you'd think, oh, we'll just grab something from a LeBaron or whatever. No, Maserati or Chrysler, whoever decided to do it, had to make it completely different. <laughs> there goes Fred. Had to make it completely different because why not, right? Make this more difficult to work on. Uh, the brake master and booster are one. It has a vacuum pump in there. The ABS is part of the master cylinder and nobody makes it. Because why would you make a part for a car that there's probably three left on the road? So we're trying and we're in the process of doing it right now. We're pretty close to the end, but we're actually taking the LeBaron stuff and putting it on there. So that's the LeBaron booster. I have to do the lines. This part is something you won't find on a LeBaron because this is off of the brake master cylinder that's supposed to be in this car. And this has to be plugged in or you can't turn the car on. I'm gonna show you the old brake master. This monstrosity is the brake master cylinder that's supposed to be in that car. It has one, two, three, four, if we include the part that's missing from this side. I think that's the ABS module or something. Four connectors going to it. This is actually a vacuum pump because the intake manifold being right next to it is too far of a distance to just run normal vacuum from. And as far as every review we looked up, the car didn't perform any different than the LeBaron. So they did all this work for it to be the same. And, uh, oh, we found one of these, which was a known good, quote unquote, working condition from a junkyard. And they wanted more than the people that bought that car paid for that car. 
Why? We found ones that were like this and they're like, doesn't work, $600. <laughs> what? That's, it's just insane with how this thing works. But yeah, we had to make a, a piece. I'll show you it when we get to working with that. But this goes to the brakes, uh, the brake pedal. So I had to actually weld on a piece of metal to the brake booster in order to get it to attach to the pedal properly. But yeah, uh, after this though, it's gonna be a LeBaron. So when converting your Chrysler TC by Maserati from shitty old master cylinder to a LeBaron setup that actually works, these are some of the parts you're going to need. Everything here, I think including this, can actually be gotten at like O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is a brake portioning valve. So this is for the rear because the front is going to come straight off of the master cylinder. I have some extra stuff here because the front, uh, there's actually three hose or three tubes for the old master cylinder. One for driver front, one for passenger front, and then one for rever or, uh, rear. This one just has front, rear. So we have to come off of this, go to a T, T off to the two fronts and then go down to the rear. So I have everything there for getting it mounted. I gotta clean up some of these cause, well, Fred took it off. So that's all I'm gonna say there. Um, but yeah, so he cut these ones because we also have to take off that fitting cause that's no longer the fitting that we're gonna be using. And also these, uh, the Little Baron stuff uses a different style flare. They use what's called a inverted or a standard flare and this is a bubble flare. If you do this a lot, this is a wonderful kit. If you don't do this a lot, this is a really expensive paperweight. Where is 3 sixteenths? I'm gonna try to cut these apart. You don't wanna see that because I can barely see it, but we're gonna get those cut off, get some fittings on there, and then start bending some hoses. So we've actually, I've tried like the little Renta flare kits or whatever at some of the parts stores and you can get a flare done, but this makes it look like it came that way. So that's why we have one of these, although at $400, I understand you not wanting one. I'm gonna take this out because I have the the two front ones done. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's got the little T on there that I have and then the new line's gonna go in there. This line's kind of being a pain. So I'm taking this out to uh, make it easier. That and you get to see what I had to do to make it fit. So I had to extend it that far to get it to actually meet up with the pin that's supposed to be on the brake pedal itself. But that works. All right, I got the lines all set where they need to be. So the front, the rear, they actually come down over here. The front goes all the way down to the T so that is actually a brake proportioning valve. And we have it on the rear so that we can control how much brake force goes to the rear so that, you know, when they hit the brakes, it doesn't completely lock up the rear and doesn't lock up the front. The other thing too is this guy knows that there isn't going to be any ABS on this just because, you know, he doesn't want to spend a whole bunch of money converting LeBaron ABS over to this car. Uh, the other thing too that we actually learned is, you know, this is a Chrysler TC. What does TC mean? 
Well, we looked it up, and apparently TC is supposed to mean turbo convertible. This is a three, a three liter from Mitsubishi. There is no turbos. I know they sell LeBaron turbos, and they're kind of cool, uh, but I, it's just this whole car is nothing but a lie and a waste of money, as far as I can tell. We also did some fun fact. Uh, this was 35 grand. A base model LeBaron you could have gotten for $12,000, which means you could have had three LeBarons to ruin for one of these. I'd rather ruin three LeBarons or just, you know, buy, buy three, set the other two aside, and when the first one blows up, because let's be honest, it's a Chrysler, it's going to, you just have two more brand new cars to continue with. It is mostly back together. This is all done. We have the uh, vacuum line done. I was able to tap into a vacuum line behind the throttle body here. Everything else is bolted up the way that it should be. Uh, the next step is to bleed the brakes and then we should have a running and driving Chrysler TC by Maserati. Uh, if for whatever reason you are now interested in what these cars are or anything about them, uh, we actually have some reviews that we actually like. They, they did a good job of personifying what this car was and where its failures came from. So they're gonna be uh, at the end of the video or in the comments, wherever you wanna find them. So this is a shit car, don't ever buy one. Yeah, the pedal feels different with it on. Yo! That's the brake pedal. bled them yet, but we backed it out because we need a bay and all that stuff, we need a lift. The brake pedal works. It feels like shit because I didn't bleed anything, but it stops the car, which tells me everything's going to work once it's bled. So, if you want to have one of these cars, plan on swapping over a lot of LeBaron parts because you might want to believe it's not a LeBaron, but it's a LeBaron. What's all that noise? <laughs> yeah.